Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So, exciting video today as I just came back from Arizona in the United States and I was at the uh, Turtle Wax Test Drive event. So that's where they unveiled their brand new lineup of products for 2020 ahead of the SEMA show. And they invited a bunch of car detailing YouTubers. I've never seen this many YouTubers under the same roof. Um, so you're gonna get to see all these people in this video. We're gonna also touch base on all their brand new products, which is called the Hybrid Solutions line. So now you have the green bottles, which are their entry level. The next step up is the ICE lineup that you guys are familiar with. And their new top of the line range of products is called Hybrid Solutions. So more specifically, they unveiled five of those products, which we're gonna see um, in demo in this video. So you're going to see demos of each products that were done. Uh, this was in the scorching 90 to 95 degree weather uh, in Arizona. So blazing hot sun. Uh, the paintwork was super hot. And despite that, the products performed very well. So imagine in normal, typical conditions, how well they'll do. Uh, so which products did they unveil? Let me get my phone quickly handy here. So they have the ceramic wash and wax. So a shampoo infused with SiO2 technology. And this was the basis, by the way, of all the hybrid solutions lineup. So uh, everything is ceramic infused. Next, they had the ceramic wet wax, spray on a wet surface and dry. Uh, next, they had the ceramic spray coating, which is kind of like the uh, seal and shine in the ice lineup, but on steroids infused with SiO2. So I'm very excited about that one. Uh, they had the ceramic polish and wax. So basically an all-in-one formula to polish and protect your paintwork. And they had the ceramic three-in-one detailer. It's basically a waterless wash or quick detail spray. Uh, and so the products were pretty awesome. They treated us like royalty. It was absolutely insane. So you're going to come along with me uh, for the ride, just as if you were with me uh, over there. So basically when the plane landed, when we arrived at the hotel in Paradise Valley, that's in between Phoenix and Scottsdale, it's an upscale area. Uh, the hotel was absolutely gorgeous, as you'll be able to see. The weather was stunning, but uh, more importantly, I got to meet a bunch of the YouTubers. Uh, and so who will you see? Let me just give you a quick rundown. So there was uh, John from Forensic Detailing Channel. Uh, there was uh, Phil and his wife from Miranda Auto Detailing. There was uh, Joe, the car cleaning guru. Uh, Brian from Fab Automotive Detailing, Brian from Apex Auto Detail, of course, me, Pan the Organizer. Uh, there was Kyle from Wax Mode, we had Jimbo Balam uh, from the Auto Detailing Podcast, Luke Wilson from Wilson Auto Detailing, there was uh, Darren from Auto Fetish Detail. Um, basically, it was absolutely amazing, a huge collection of YouTubers, I got to meet them all, and in future upcoming videos, something that has never been done before, so stay tuned on my channel, uh, I interviewed a lot of those YouTubers, so a one-on-one -on -one session uh, with a few of them, and uh, you'll get to know a bit of their upcoming secrets, some cool things about them, the men behind the camera, of course. Um, and what else? As you can tell, I'm super excited. So it was an awesome event. Come along with me for the ride. By the way, I posted a lot of cool content on my Instagram page. So if you guys uh, haven't been following me on Instagram, make sure you do. So the uh, Instagram link is at Pan the Organizer. Uh, I have some previews, upcoming videos. You get some cool secret stuff that uh, isn't always posted on YouTube. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page as well. The uh, links will be in the description under the video. And so, okay. I know you guys want to see what they unveiled. You're going to see the products in demo. And uh, of course, you're also going to have a sneak peek at a, an exclusive auto car club, which is called Auto Car Club. Uh, that was in Scottsdale where the event was hosted. Uh, we got to drive some pretty cool cars to go see the sunset in the mountains as well. I drove um, a Porsche Panamera Turbo and there was a bunch of cool cars in that collection. So you're going to see all of that in the video. Oh, also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. So you'll subscribe to my channel and get to learn more about car detailing. So products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. So go ahead and also hit the notifications icon that's the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a video to YouTube. Guys, you know the drill. Without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. Okay guys, we're at the Mountain Shadows Resort 
here in Paradise Valley, Arizona. So that's in between Scottsdale and Phoenix, room 219. So uh, Turtle Wax hooked us up with an awesome, awesome room. I'll give you a quick tour here. So you guys have a feeling as if you were right with me for the trip. So look at this, this is the area where you get ready in the morning. That's pretty sweet. Nice little mirror there, hello guys. So in here we got the, the toilet in a separate room. Very, very nice. The uh, shower stall here, that's pretty awesome with the view, of course. So imagine you're taking your shower and you have that gorgeous view, which we'll see in a minute. Another area here for my girlfriend, Isabel, to get ready tomorrow morning. So a closet space. The TV, of course, flat screen, pretty awesome. Very, very clean. We got two queen size beds which look ultra comfy, cannot wait. And of course, as the name states, we're near the mountains. So let's go out on our balcony and have a look at the view. Look at this guys. Wow. Look at those mountains. This is the uh, pool area in between both wings. More mountains over there. That is pretty, pretty sweet. Guys, I'm at the uh, Auto Car Club here in uh, Arizona. And this is a private club, as you can tell. Lots and lots of awesome vehicles from Porsches to McLarens, Ferraris, Mercedes, you name it. Some uh, pretty rare stuff here, including these two Ferraris, but one of my favorites ever, that F50 over here. This car club is absolutely beautiful. We're here for the uh, Turtle Wax Test Drive event, and uh, whew, even the license plate, guys. Look at that, sweet F50. That's right, totally sweet. God, even in 2019, this car still looks amazing, guys, right? Wow, I don't even know what to say. Which one should I start detailing? You guys let me know which one would be your pick. So many awesome cars. The place is packed with uh, detailing YouTubers out here. So we'll have a fun day. Ready? Yep. Go for it. Man, I missed it. Let's do it twice more. Okay. <laughs> So what's the uh, the name of that product again? This is our hybrid ceramic wash and wax. Okay. We are super excited about it because not only does it wash, but it truly leaves back a layer of wax. So I'm gonna mist it first. You can see. See instantly the beading and sheeting. You can see over here on the flat panel. The water falls flat. And over here, in the wash section, how quickly it runs off. And then, to make grind easier, flood it. Not contaminate. How quickly it comes off. Already almost off. I'll do it again just so you can see how fast it is. So, quicker sheeting on the protected side. Absolutely. It is, it is dry. And these panels were previously stripped of any previous protection, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what's that product called again? Three in one ceramic detail. Okay.
So this is like a waterless wash? It's kind a waterless of? wash, but also we, so it cleans, uh, protects, um, and gives that shine. Yeah, you can use it on the wheels. You can use on wheels, you can use on the glass. Uh, so can you narrate yeah. this while you're doing it? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> use a thinner microfiber towel for the initial application because that lets as much product stay on the surface. And then a kind of thicker, denser one for that kind of buff at the end to remove every residue that's left behind. I'm not reading the instructions. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to go on any panel, I would. Just because it's going so fast, you're you gonna have to spray on white ass it's on here, so chuck that. Yep. Uh, well, normally when you, you know you'd have to buff it off, you don't know, you can straight wipe straight away. Um, on the kind of heavier soles, you'd leave it sit for a while to kind of encapsulate all the dirt. But in this temperature, you'd, 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 it is dry on the surface. Isn't it? What happens if you just spray it on, leave it to bake on there for half an hour? Uh, it'll just set. Will it be a nightmare? No, 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 that's the biggest problem people leaving it for. So then, just to show the water, <laughs> I have, I have, I have rain. <laughs> Just to show what um, the water Rain feet. simulation. Now that will nicely dry and leave some nice water spots. <laughs> What's the name of the product that you're demoing now? So it's uh, ceramic wet wax hybrid solutions. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's wax and dry on steroids. It's, it's boosted up. It's got that unbelievable durability that you'd expect from having ceramic sort of coatings. Um, super quick and easy to use. Um, you know, let's go test it out. I can show you how it works. As you said, it works on glass and on your plastic trims. So this peak over here, um, it's not been fully prepared but it shows you that people who don't have the time to fully prepare the car and give it that, you know, cut back the paint work, they can use it still and get good results, good shine, good durability, all that sort of stuff they're looking for, but, you know, a quarter of the time. So, uh, let's go over and have a look. So literally, it's like a panel section this size, I might use two sprays at top. So it's a wax as you dry formulation? Yeah, so, you know, pretty much, I've washed the car, I've rinsed it, two sprays, dry with my five dry towel, and we're done. We've got protection, shine. You know, okay, this is not a prepped car, so there is swirls in it, but this is could be typical of anyone's car who's, you know, daily drive, don't have time to prepare it that much, but still wants shine, protection. Um, you can use it as well on, on trims like this. So, so yeah, easily to use on trims. So you don't need to worry about any overspray. Yeah. So any exterior surface, glass, paint, glass, trim? Paint of plastic, uh, yeah, glass, so uh, side mirrors, so pretty much most surfaces in the car. It's not gonna streak, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a paint to remove. Can we see the hydrophobic properties? Yeah. yeah. So super hydrophobic. You know, shine plus slickness. Super quick, super easy. You know, great for weekend warriors, uh, people who don't have time basically to 
go to that extent, but still want shine, durability, you know, all those good things. So this is the, this is the ceramic spray coating. And uh, what's cool about this product is a lot of consumers won't be prepping their car or, or buffing their car. They're just going to use it as this, like, like a typical car would be like this. It's oxidation and the scratches. So, but what's cool is it'll also work in an unprepped car. It's best if you prep the car, but it can also work in an unprepped car. And I'm going to show you how it's used. So right now, this side is not treated. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put a little border so you guys can remember what exactly. So I'm gonna leave a little strip like this, and then I'm gonna. Notice how easy it is to work with. It's not too So even in direct sunlight and scorching hot weather like this, no problems? Yeah, it's pretty easy to work with. What's the uh, temperature right now? 90. 90 Fahrenheit. Right. Okay. Obviously, you don't, want to do, you don't want to do the whole foot and then start spraying. So I'm just doing a little bit, a little bit hard to the car. Cool. Brilliant. So, yeah. And now I'm going to show you the beating. Remember I left that little piece in the middle? So we got the unprotected strip in the middle and then protected on the right, protected on the left. But what we're going to do is, everybody's seen this already, so I'm going to try to remove it. I like, I like Eagle One, but it's a good deal cream. Yes. <laughs> and that's the version with the iron remover inside, yeah, right? So it's got, it moves grease, it moves everything. So okay. it, it kind of stinks, but but when I want to remove something, this is what I my go to guys. But the thing is, we don't, the only way to remove this is by compounding, but we don't want to compound it. We just, want to, just to show you how you guys how durable this is last. Sure. Just be careful, it kind of smells bad. So. This was like after five watches ago. Am I doing this side? Is that what's going on here? So still going strong even after the wheel cleaner was applied. Okay. We'll do it again. Just All right. So much quicker sheeting and beating on the protected side and this strip here that wasn't protected very slow sheeting so even after two shots of the wheel cleaner with iron remover built in still going strong this is a hybrid solution ceramic polish and wax uh, what this is this is a all-in-one type of product it actually has the same uh, level of abrasives or the same strength of abrasives you find in the rubbing a professional rubbing compound or probably more of a medium uh, 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 polish or uh, compound. The difference is we're using platelets. We're using uh, platelet aluminum oxide. What does that mean? Instead of being wrong, round uh, rocks that gouge into the paint, they're flat platelets that slide and glide over the finish. So it's a slow cut, but it's a precise cut. And when our clear coat's only being about a mil and a half to two mils thick, 
we want to go after the scratches and we don't want to go further than we, than we have to. Now, we made this product that anybody can use it. So if you're a novice and you want to use it by hand, I need a volunteer. Does anybody want to help me do this by hand? Okay. For sure. I'm going to put a little bit on here. So he's going to do a little bit of section by hand. What I'd like you to do is stay within the tape. If everybody see those swirls and scratches that are kind of in the finish from the rental car? Now, we're not going to be filling. Over here, I did with, with, the, with the machine. And you see the, uh, the after. So this is a one-step polish? A one-step polish and a ceramic coating in one. Okay. Now, the difference is you can adjust the strength of the cut by with the machine pad. So if you use a cutting pad, you're going to get more of the platelets to cut the finish and to remove the swirl marks, and less of the wax is going to get onto the finish. After you get all the scratches off, you may want to use a medium pad. I like the white or blue from uh, Lake Country. So I'd like you to do five circular passes you need more? So is this diminishing abrasive sword, is it? No, it's okay. not diminishing. It's it's these are very, very powerful. Level. Yeah. With a kind of microfiber or a foam? Yes. Yeah, nice. So basically there's our platelets that are laying flat. They're very hard abrasives, harder than the paint. The difference is you adjust the cut level with the with your polishing pad. Yeah. So he's doing this by hand, and I only want to do this because a lot of people would like to do this by hand if you're a novice and you don't have a machine. You have to start somewhere. You start with a clean car. I would clay the car because basically the bonded contaminants, you've got to get them out of the way. So if you got five passes, the reason why I asked him to do five passes, hey, you got to get these, oh, these abrasive platelets to slide and glide and remove the swirls. So now what I want you to do, if you notice, it didn't really dry. We're, this finish is very, very hot. We're using a polymer lubricant, so we're not using a typical petroleum distillate or the oil. We're using a polymer lubricant, which really helps to control the cut and the, uh, the uh, how quickly the polish dries. So even though we're working in dark sunlight, you can see, still see that it's no it's so good at all. There's no powdery residue, and there's no dusting. So now take your microfiber towels. I don't want you to spend a lot of time buffering. Just remove the excess. It's good. Just remove the excess. Don't rub hard. Just remove the excess as much as you can. Now, I'm going to there. Now, that's all right. It's good enough. Now, what you want to do is you want to set the polymers with water. So now go ahead and see what happens when you put a little bit of water on there. Wipe that through and then turn your cloth over and see what happens. Yeah, it's a bit smoother. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're using the water. Some of the people call it a spit shine. But what you're doing is you're actually, there's a, some of the chemistry that hold everything in suppression you need to get that off the surface you have a little spot right there there we go and then let's pull the tape to reveal so good job but you didn't get all the scratches and i didn't expect them to get all the scratches <laughs> off my hand i mean you need a machine because this is a rental car and it's pretty well hammered i'll tell you what since we have the time i'm going to do finish this car out i'm going to show you my machine and then we're going to go over to uh, the uh, ford explorer So, I'm using a cutting pad, a microfiber cutting pad, to apply the polish, dab it around, I just want to finish off this hood. So I'm using enough polish. Now a little goes a long way. So I really want, when you're doing an entire car, one and a half ounces of this product is enough to do an entire car. I actually put a little bit too much on here, but I'll make it work. Start on one and a half mils will do enough to do an entire car. Now, what I want you to see is as I'm putting this on, I'm just spreading it low speed. I'm also getting rid of my patchwork of demos here. Now, if you notice, I don't have a white residue. What I have is this white film. Now what I can do is I can dial this up. I can actually watch my polish remove the scratches. So I can see right through my, my polish with the ceramic. Adds, remember how I said ceramics add clarity? They add clarity to our formula. So it actually helps my polish stay clear so I can see what's going on. I'm putting a little pressure on this because I can, because this is pretty well sketched up. But I can see how well I'm doing, I can look right through my coating. And I'm doing this in direct sunlight.
Now, this polish is only, you really want to use this when you have, really have to do some restoration work. This is something you have, you want to clay first, you keep contaminating if you have to. But you're going to use this polish to get rid of all the surface imperfections in the clear coat. But you're going to do it in a gentle way. This stuff coat the sandy box. Pardon? The coat the sandy box. It, it, it'll it take off the sand marks uh, up to about 1500. So if you're doing restoration work, this is something that's going to do a pretty decent job. So this all-in-one is not going, right now because I'm using a cutting pad, it's probably not going to leave a lot of the ceramic polymer because it's going to thin it out. I may have to go to a medium pad a second time, and that way what will happen, look, my, I'll get less cut, but I'll get more of the polymer and ceramic on the surface for protection. But, I'm going to do one more pass. This will be a good third pass. And I can, like I said, I like, I can see right through my coating. I can see what's going on. This is unusual now, because you've got, you're, it's almost like you're dry bumping. I'm not. It's wet. It's smeary. Maybe I'll put a little bit more in. Yes, you get, it is getting a little dry. I don't want to dry out too much. Finish is hot though, I'll tell you. Yeah. But I do want it to thin out where it's translucent. I can see right through it. It's not dropping as hard much. All the microphones are flat. The cool thing is when you're using these aluminum oxide platelets, I can do edges without cutting right through. That also helps that I got a DA. So let's just see how we're doing here. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing a lot of rubbing and buffing on this. I'm just going to remove the excess as much as I can. And now I'm going to spritz my water because this hood is hot. Cool this down. I'm going to turn my micro, and I'm boiling away the water as you speak. But I think you can see now. There is a bonding polymer in here that takes 24 hours to do the amino functional, and it will take 20. It acts like a glue, and it glues everything down. I don't know how I did, but I think if there's some water spots, I probably needed another pass on this. So you don't expose your vehicle to water or rain for 24 hours? No, you can expose it to rain. You just can't retop it with something. Okay. okay. So what you want to do is wait about 24 hours. Then you can use your ceramic spray coating as a topper on top of this. And it'll attach itself because remember how we talked about the submicron uh, polymers? It actually, it'll go and hook itself right into this. And now you get two layers of coating. We got this under test right now. We're trying to see. So we can see this as a primer, maybe, for the ceramic spray wax. Absolutely. Okay. That's what you were talking All about right. before, John. Wow, <laughs> I'm sure you could tell that the event was absolutely awesome. Uh, I speak on behalf of all the car detailing YouTubers that were there when I say thank you to Turtle Wax. You guys pulled something off that no other company has ever done. So reunite a bunch of awesome car detailing YouTubers all under one roof for a single event. Um, wow, again, kudos to you guys. We were treated like royalty. I hope this event is the first of many to come and something tells me that it will. Uh, which product are you guys the most excited about in the Turtle Wax lineup? Let me know in the comment section under the video. And is there any specific one that you would want me to review? Of course, many future videos to follow. Uh, including a special one on one of the uh, Turtle Wax products that I really enjoyed, so stay tuned. Of course, to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, of course, thanks for being there, thanks for watching, and in the meantime, don't forget, 
keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.